Chris Olds, Mega Baseball here. Got a little something different that I haven't done in a while, aka a rip and retail video. Anyway, I picked up some retro boxes, uh, stuff that's pushing 20 years old as of next year. The price was right for me, and I like what this stuff is, so uh, I'm going to do a little rip in here. I have not one, not two, not three, but four wax boxes. I don't know if I'm going to rip them all, but I've got three of these bad boys. 1994 action-packed minor league. We'll get to the details there. Th three of those. And this one, I've never actually ripped a box of. I've ripped quite a few packs in the past. 1994 action-packed football. The most unusual packaging configuration ever. And we'll get to that in a minute, too. But uh, as I intend to do, which may appear below this video, uh, a column, I, I want to write an ode to action-packed because... Back in the day, they stood out as unique, as very different, and uh, they were pricey, too, to tell you the truth. So, uh, you know, I didn't always pick them up a bunch of them until they hit the discount boxes at the you know, good old Kmart stores with the vintage label, where their hobby boxes like this are 10 bucks, 20 bucks. So, uh, oddly, this car, this box here has an original price tag at a card shop of $54. I paid far less than that. But uh, if you were around back then, you already know what this stuff is. If you weren't, well, here you go. Crash course. What did this stuff go for? Check out Beckett.com. The uh, online price guides will give you a full rundown. <sighs> it's been a long time. In fact, I probably haven't bought any of these in 15 years at least. The cool part about Action Packed is obviously, the, as I said, the the embossed cards, but they also were one of the first companies to regularly use uh, 24 karat gold leaf on the top of the card. Hopefully I'll pull one. I did back in the day, Todd Marinovich, 1991 football, $175 card, kept it. Now it's worth about 12 cents. Um, also one of the first companies to do, well not the first, but for sports, one of the first companies to do embedded diamonds into cards. A couple of those tricks you actually not, might recognize these days, done by some companies. Um, <clears throat> and uh, this actual year also had a uh, redemption card for a uh, autograph of the player on the front. A once promising prospect that I don't think ever did much, Frankie Rodriguez for the Boston Red Sox. I actually pulled one of those back in the day. If I pull one here again, needless to say... It won't be good. Now, speaking of good, right off the top of this pack, top card, it's a good one. And I forgot to mention who is of note in this set. Of note in this set are Alex Rodriguez, Michael Jordan, and this guy, Derek Sanderson Jeter. As you can see here, it's an embossed card, so they took the t-shirt that he's wearing and all the wrinkles you can feel. And what it is, it's actually a three-fold card. So in the middle of the card, right here below his name, there's a seam. So this and this were panels that unfold into a sheet where they emboss it, then they fold the card up and glue it. So here it is, Derek Jeter. You'll note since there's no corners, these might grade pretty well. And that was another thought I had in my mind, actually, when I bought these. So I'm going to set that aside. First card, first pack, probably the best card in the box, Derek Jeter. And you'll see a lot of other players here that you may have forgotten over time or maybe never knew about. Curtis Goodwin, he's a champion. Brian Hunter, loaded pack because here you go. Alex Rodriguez, Appleton Foxes, card number one in the set. So first pack. Two of the top three cards. An offer of a action-packed gun card. Uh, I can't talk. Uncut proof sheet. 42 cards. Basically, there's these in here. And if you win the Frankie Rodriguez card, it looks different. So if you pay attention, there's where you would have found your redemption if you had paid attention. Uh, James Baldwin. Pitched quite a few years, I think, in the majors. 
And here's where the diamond cards come into play. The Franchise Gems set. And on those diamond cards, I think there's an embedded diamond up here in this logo. On the back, let me touch this so I can show it. There's a heat reveal to show what year this guy's um, debut occurred in. So there you go, pack one, two of the big cards. I uh, did notice some odds on the back before I was rambling. <clears throat> 24 karat gold cards are 1 in 96. I think there are 24 packs per box, although it doesn't really say because we weren't all about busting boxes by box looking for hits back in the day, but three boxes at like 24 packs. Do the math. I'm probably short of an assured gold card. I don't think I ever pulled a gold out of this brand or this year either. I have pulled gold out, gold, plenty of gold out of football. The odds of finding a diamond exchange card, so never mind on that diamond thing. One in 1920. So I guess I won't be finding any diamonds. I didn't realize those were redemptions, but you know what? At the price I paid, I'm not that worried. All right. That's a reliable major leaguer, Derek Lee. A distant cousin of rock and roll legend Elvis Presley. It's the first line on the back of his card. Former Mets prospect Kirk Presley. <clears throat> Minor of the year we've never heard of, Robert Ellis. A Rondell White. Played for a while. Hmm. Oh, apparently, uh, well, apparently the, the heat transfer cards are part of the diamond exchange. I didn't even know that, so I better touch all my heat cards. Gabe White. Let's try this one. Trot Nixon. Nice photograph. I touched it on the back and it says 94. So not quite the uh, monster pack that the first one was. Next pack. Oh boy. Here's another guy who's famous for nef you know nefarious reasons. Ugi Urbina. A former Columbus Clipper. And what was the name of that school? can't remember the name of the school. The uh, junior college in Tuscaloosa where I went to school was Shelton State, and that's where Russ Davis played baseball. Brooks Kieschnick, former Cubs prospect. Curtis Pride, who actually cannot hear. He is deaf. <clears throat> Bill Pulsifer, former Mets prospect. And yet another, Trot Nixon. And here's the... There's the panel. I will fold my finger over it, and you'll see a 94 again, just like it was on that last card. Next pack. This might be a long video, or maybe I'll just break it up into uh, part one, part two. Calvin Pokey Reese. And you also need to watch. I also need to watch these carefully. Make sure I didn't miss any gold cards. I don't exactly know how they're marked in this. Uh, in this series, so I need to uh, kind of do a double take here on my stack real fast. And I'm losing my voice or something here. The good old pollen's in the air because the temperature's, you know, temperature's getting cooler. So the minute I turn on that camera, I sound snuff, you know, I got the sniffles. <clears throat> J.R. Phillips, another big one from back in the day. Chan Ho Park. Matt Franco, Cubs. Bill Pulsifer, again. And a Rondell White. Boom. <clears throat> it's a relatively small set. I believe it's like 100 cards, if I remember correctly. I didn't actually uh, do check the uh, website or anything do in, leading up to an advance of this one. I just ordered the boxes last week. They showed up, so here I am. Rick Krivda, Jeff Granger, this guy's crazy, Kevin Millar, this guy played a little basketball, Michael Jeffrey Jordan, so I have all three out of less than a third of the box, 
And here's another pretty big name. There's a small subset of Roberto Clemente cards in this one. So that's cool. A little Major League Baseball presence on top of the minor leaguers who, let, for, who later made it. And a Todd Hollinsworth. I've only opened about four or five packs. So I'm hoping this could be a fun box. And frankly, it probably already is considering the price. I think they range in the $20, $25 range. I got my boxes for a little bit less. Found a good deal online. Butch Husky. Curtis Goodwin again. A slightly different Trot Nixon. A JT Snow with a uh, color streak down the side. <clears throat> Roberto Clemente again. And Jose Silva. Next pack. <clears throat> I hope the noise in the background, the air vent coming on, didn't uh, distract or take away here. If so, I'll close the door for the next video. Tyrone Hill. Trot Nixon. Not Trot Nixon. Another former big name in the past. Phil Nevin. Matt Bronson. Uh, what happened there? Ryan Luzinski. Roberto Clemente again. That's two of the, two of the last three three cards have been this one for him. <clears throat> Next pack. I'm a big fan of action packs from back in the day just because they're different. I'll try to show off another embossed card here. <clears throat> Such a simple effect. So it's a photograph of him with his bat toward you, but as you can see, hopefully in the reflection, it's all kinds of embossing. You can feel the stuff on the card, the bats, and the, even the stitching on the balls here, I believe, right there. Yes, just barely embossed. Up on the top, it's easier to, to feel them. Um, it's just simple, and I like simple. It's clean. The designs are very cool to me. Very simple. Just smartly done. Wayne Gomes and J.R. Phillips. Darren Kirk. Kirk Wright. Been a while since I've seen that name. Brian Barber. Another James Baldwin. Whew. This is the first edition of their minor league baseball set. I believe they made a second year, which is actually a little bit tougher to find. I haven't seen that one in ages. And those packs are a little weird, too, because you can actually see the top card on the pack. They were kind of made like a cello pack. Nobody really eventful here. And another Rondell White. And another normal version of that card. Basically, the cards are very clean. Um, I haven't seen any real damage. There might be some, some ink issues here and there. But, uh, if you're, you know, they should grade pretty well. They're pretty clean. Obviously, the corners. You've got to watch out for kind of misfolded cards. Here's another pretty big name I had forgotten about in this release. Johnny Damon, the best blank in the lit. Never mind. Back in his pre-Royals days. Another name from back in the day, Alex Ochoa. Another name you might you know if you're a collector, Dimitri Young, Arkansas Travelers. Another Roberto Clemente, and another Chan Ho Park. This time it's the subset Diamond Gems card, or Franchise Gem card. I probably won't open all three of my boxes of this one here. I should because I'm hoping to have some gold. But, you know, 15 minutes in, I'm not even done with half a box. So, Jose Silva. Here's a fun name from the past. Chad Matola, Ozzie Timmons, Midri Cummings, a Roberto Clemente again, and a Brooks Kieschnick again. <clears throat> I think I've said all I need to say about why I like this one. I simply just do. They were a little more expensive back in the day. I don't remember off the top of my head. But they weren't your normal pack prices, so therefore, people like me, the kids, didn't get to buy as much. Here's another one. Max Suzuki was a big name for a little while in the past. JT Snow again. Nigel Wilson. The Edmonton Trappers. 
Todd Hollinsworth. I think I showed that one. Nice embossed hair there. The shirt, you can see it, feel it. I think these just simple, simple cards. One thing you got to be aware of is, is they don't stack very well because of that seam. They kind of go crooked, so you need to flip them over to make them fit a little, uh, to make them stack a little more even, evenly. And another thing to worry about is they are glossed slightly. And on the sides of the cards, the gloss tends to kind of chip off. Here's a Todd Hollinsworth base card, which I don't think I've pulled. Nice photo there, clearly posed. Max Suzuki again. Benji Gill. There you go. Another name, Terrell Wade. I think his first, his, his first name is Hiawatha, if I remember correctly. I could be totally wrong, but Hiawatha Terrell Wade. I, let me know if I'm wrong on that one, or don't. Brian Barber, and another Chanho Park. So I'm up to a couple of a couple of these names. Hopefully I'll get a couple Jordans, a couple Jeters, a couple A-Rods, a couple more. Or maybe a gold Jordan. Russ Davis, Tim Clark, Alex Ochoa, Dimitri Young, James Baldwin, Roberto Clemente. I've got... Ten packs to go. So I'm just now about the halfway through a box. <clears throat> oh, Nevin. Uh, these are stuck together a little bit, but not too bad. Not compared to some of those 90s sets out there. Like I said, though, these are minor league cards. And, uh, you know, there aren't a ton of minor league releases back then. A lot of prospect sets and things like that. Rondell White. Another thing to look out for is when they folded the cards, sometimes they bend. Right there's a little crease. Hopefully my Jeters and Jordans and A-Rods are perfectly fine. Then again, this is a cheap box. Oh, here's another blast from the past. Brian Taylor, Yankees prospect. Johnny Damon. That's two. Here's a cool card that seems out of place, but it's actually a checklist. 72 cards for the set. A 125th anniversary card, which is just gold foil across the front. It's been a while since I've seen these. Just a simple checklist that looks very different. Some people may think that's a gold card. I don't believe it to be. Watch, it is, and I'm totally just a fool. Marshall Bowes, guy we haven't seen yet in this box. <clears throat> Denver Zephyr's pitcher. <clears throat> Calvin Pokey Reese. J.R. Phillips. Chanho Park again. Matt Franco. Michael Tucker, another name we haven't seen yet. He was all over some of the early 90s stuff. Promising player. Brooks Kieschnick. A few more packs to go. And I'm going to split the football off onto its own separate video here probably in the next day or two. Maybe with my ode to Action Packed. Kevin Millar. Michael Jeffrey Jordan. No crease on the back of that one, which is cool. Gabe White. Michael Tucker again. I'm sure that's a big deal now. No. Todd Hollinsworth, Charles Johnson, another name from the past that uh, hadn't actually seen yet. He was supposed to be the big, kind of a big deal. I think he was a reliable player for a few years. Terrell Wade, Benji Gill, Roberto Clemente, and another Charles Johnson. The other Charles Johnson card in the set. Here's another Brian Taylor, so let's hope for another Michael Jeffrey Jordan to go with it. I have a bad habit of doing the middle names. Another checklist, another Kirk Presley, another Marshall Bowes, another Roberto Clemente. Ah, first one for this card. Franchise gem, or diamond gems, I don't know why. Okay, that's why I messed it up. 
On the front it says Franchise Gem. On the back it says Diamond Debut. Too much alliteration going on or something here for me. Here's the A-Rod card. Subset. He's the only one of the big three who has two cards that I remember. Derek Jeter. <clears throat> With him right on top of the pack, that's actually probably a good thing, although there is a slight smudge, like a surface scuff on this card. But uh, that could be good for some of those cards grading-wise if he's consistently on the tops of packs. Another A-Rod. Loaded pack. Nigel Wilson. Michael Tucker. Three packs to go, and I'll... What I'll do is I'm going to rip my other two boxes off camera, but I'll do a little PS update if I happen to see that I missed a gold card or if I happen to find a gold card. I'll tack it on here on the end. If I can even get through this part of the pack. Roberto Clemente again. Very small set. You should get a couple sets in a box, I would hope. Two packs to go and on, on pace for that two sets, here's yet another A-Rod. Tyrone Hill, Frankie Rodriguez, whom I haven't uh, seen. Your Frankie Rodriguez certified autograph from this set is could be a disappointing one to you guys out there. When I got mine in the mail, which took forever back in the day, oddly, Redemption's taking time even then, it was just this exact card, no special markings, with an autograph and blue sharpie across the front. So, easily fakeable. And at this point, if you didn't get one that was legit, you might be able to presume that they aren't legit unless someone got Frankie Rodriguez to sit down and sign a few. And the odds of that, I'm not sure. Final pack. Mark Newfield. Charles Johnson, Wayne Gomes, Darren Kirkwright, Michael Taylor, and Alex Ochoa. So that was Action Pack, 1994 Action Pack Minor League Baseball Cards. Actually, it's 1994 Action Pack Scouting Report, but I don't think we actually call it that in our system. But uh, 24 packs of six cards, 72 cards per set. Do the math. I hope I got two sets. So if I find something cool, I will do a PS here real fast. You'll see here in a second. Whew. I'm back. There wasn't any diamonds. There wasn't any gold. But in three boxes, there were six A-Rods of each type. Six Jeters. And seven Jordans. Anyway... That was a fun rip for me. I hope you liked the 20-minute part for one box. Maybe next time I'll get the gold or some redemption card. I can't use it because it's 20 years old. Until next time, Chris Olds, Big Baseball. Just keep ripping.